let's study about death you know that man is mortal what is mortal he must die we all must die i have to die only god is immortal only god lives forever man seeks for immortality which says in romans 2 is to 7 the dust plus the breath of god which is the spirit of god equals a living soul man returns to dust a living soul minus the breath of god the spirit of god equals dust which says in genesis 3 is to 19 ecclesiastes 12 is to 7 animals do have souls we can see that in ecclesiastes 3 is to 18 to 20, 21 and then a revelation 6 is to 3 and 8 is to 9 so man is not conscious in death where do we find that in psalms 146 is to 4 it says his thoughts perish with his last breath and according to ecclesiastes 9 is to 5 the dead know not anything we further go and see in Ecclesiastes 9 is to 6 love hatred and envy perishes and when we go to Psalms 6 is to 5 and Psalms 115 is to 17 it says the dead do not praise the Lord what is death death is a sleep how do we know that death is a sleep in Psalms 13 is to 3 the death is compared to the sleep in first Kings 11 is to 43 it says Solomon slept with his fathers so what does that mean death and in Matthew 27 is to 52 it says many bodies of the saints which slept arose and if you see in John 11 is to 11 to 14 verses Lazarus sleeps Lazarus is dead so by this we know that death is a sleep the man's only hope is the resurrection how do we know that man can be resurrected if you read in John's 5 is to 29 those in the grave shall hear his voice and the righteous will come forth in the first resurrection of life at the second coming of Christ first Thess Thessalonians 4 15 is to 16 says the dead in Christ shall rise first the dead are raised in corrupt incorruptible and put on receive immortality which says in 1st Corinthians 15 is to 51 there is a reward bestowed for those who die in Christ death and resurrections are compared with the sowing of the seed Jesus has abolished death by sacrificing his life for us which says in 2nd Timothy 1 is to 10 there is also a warning against the spiritualism where we find this in Deuteronomy 18 9 is to 12 God condemns communicating with the familiar spirits or with the dead people according to 1st Timothy 4 is to 1 and also Revelation 16 is to 14 says the dead are asleep so such communication is with the devils this is spiritualism 
basically many people you know that they speak to the dead they think that the dead will hear the prayers and they pray to the dead that is all lies that is all spiritual a type of a spiritualism which is of the devil you know from the beginning from the first and the last according to genesis 3 to 4 the first lie is he shall not surely die that's a lie according to john 3 to 16 the ultimate truth is jesus died that we might have eternal life the total cessation of all vital function is the death so now what is that spirit the spirit is the state of feeling or being so the breath which man has from god is from the air it is a life it is a vital energy the union of this breath with the body makes man alive conscious intelligent capable of exercising judgment and making decisions and taking actions just as we do not understand fully the spirit of god which he gives to the man we do not fully understand the spirit breath of life vital energy that returns to god one thing is clear nowhere does the bible teach the existence of the spirit as a conscious entity separate from the physical body thanks for listening have a wonderful day